Oh my days, how many splash companies are involved with this game? I'm just gonna skip this. <laughs> Alright. What's up, what's up, what's up, boys and girls? I'm Plan Powers, and this is Clock... The Lair of the Clockwork Gods. Uh, a mixture between an indie platformer and a point-and-click adventure game with its very own pixel art style and sense of humor, as we already got a glimpse of that at the beginning here. So yeah, I'm really excited to see what uh, this game is all about. It looks very cool, it looks very well designed, and I can't wait just to get into it. So, without any further ado, here we go. Find out how it all begins in this free Dan and Ben High Adventures Devil's Kiss. What is this? Okay. <laughs> So yeah, I think this is going to be a very, uh, a very funny game and a very cool looking game. So yeah, I'm really excited to play this. Man, I was getting frustrated. I was like, how many companies have worked in this game? And then I realized, oh, this is a joke. Hold up. No one bamboozles me. I'm not doing any platforming. We've talked about this, Ben. Pointing and clicking is dead. It's those trendy platformers kids who are in now, and we need to stay relevant. I'm going to be an indie darling platformer instead. You prance around all you like, Dan. I'm going to stick you with using my brain. And my hands. Sometimes my mouth. So then, which supervillain are we going to defeat with your amazing new jumping skills? Actually, we're looking for a flower. What? This isn't one of your whackin' advent an adventure... It's a point in quest. It is a rare and most likely metaphorical flower that cures cancer. Can't even get more worthy than it. Uh huh. And once we find this flower, presumably we find a wacky florist <laughs> and swap it for a more useful item. No, we use it to cure our friend Matthew. He has a particularly unpleasant case of colon cancer, and he needs our help. All right. It's all very relevant and modern. Bloody hell. Right, we've done enough of your old-fashioned talking already. I'm going on ahead. Have fun with your brain. <laughs> okay. So we have Dan and uh, you wait here. I'll run ahead and call you if I need your help. Okay. Dan and, and I forgot the other guy's name. Oh, that's not good. What the fuck was that? What? Is that supposed to happen? Okay. Right. Can we go? No. Alright. Let's just get on with the mission then. We got these two friends here that are trying to cure... Oh, that happened again. Uh, apparently they're trying to cure uh, cancer. So that's very, <laughs> that's a very topical issue at the moment. Uh, what's going on here? Fiddlesticks. This lever is too small and nimble for my colossal hands. Alright, maybe I need your help instead already. So how do I... Switch between uh, Dan and Ben. Okay. Here we go, just press the left... You can press the jump button all you like. I'm no platformer. I resolutely refuse to engage any of my baser... Okay. Hey Dan, which Matt is it with this cancer? Anyway, Matt F? No, 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 Matt C. Hmm, shame. I like Matt C way more. Don't be so callous. We're being thoughtful and considerate, remember? So how do I... How do I get on top of the platform then? I can't do any jumping. Wait, can I? Ah, oh, okay. Alright. Uh, floor switch. Lever. And we can point into our surroundings. And we can... Okay. Use inventory. How do I press that? Okay, I just released the D-pad up button. It requires some sturdier like that. Okay, hold up. Use inventory. I have a bladder. Ben's handy internal liquid carrying device. Can I use it? I can examine, combine, and use on. Okay. The metaphysical representation of my urinary bladder. Which I actually keep somewhere between my kidneys and my John Thomas. Okay. My bladder is pleasantly full to bursting at this moment in time. Okay. Can I uh, use on? I don't have anything heavy enough to activate this. Floor switches are activated only by big fat platformer lumps. Okay, never mind that. Uh, can I look at it? 
Hmm, some sort of newfangled technology. <laughs> Looks like it uses a person's weight to manipulate the objects elsewhere in the world. Sadly, my undernourished adventure body is far too weak and pathetic to activate the system. Alright, fair enough. Actually, can I use, change something real quick on the uh, game dialogue? Uh, full waffle, what does that mean? How chat to your Dan and Ben, if you're fed up how much they're droning on, try fiddling with this. We'll remove less important dialogue so you can get on with the puzzles. Oh, that's good, okay. Dialogue speed, I'm just gonna bump this down a notch because uh, I don't... I mean, English is not my first language, but... Uh, even so, they, like, it's too quick. <laughs> Alright, let's try and use this lever, so, shall we? There we go. Cool. So can I just traverse with... Uh, I forgot which one. Dan. This is guy. This guy is Dan. The other one's Ben. All right. Hello, fellow adventurer. Okay. All right. Those are spikes. I thought it was just part of the background. Let's swap between the characters. Uh, this is. The hell is this floating monolith thing? Checkpoints. When we die, we respawn back at the last checkpoint we crossed. Standard platforming procedure. Death is now conscious free. <laughs> Bar being a mild inconvenience. Hang on. Why can't Matt C just respawn then? How come he's all pathos and heartstrings? Uh, well, he's not a platformer. It's different. How dissonant. What's death like, anyway? Oh, it's just a cool dark void with no concept of time or space, basically. Oh, sweet. Yikes. No wonder platformers are so emo if they are have to go through that every two minutes. Yeah. Well, back to it. We might be able to make it across if we work together. Alright, fair enough. Uh, so, I got... Oh, this keeps happening. Uh, do I need... No, I don't need to be here. Okay, so the uh, the colors match whatever is happening in the uh, scenery. So we got yellow and red here, so uh, that means... Can I use this? Okay, maybe I can... No, wait. I can talk to Dan. Oh, and I can talk to this guy. Let me see what he has to say. I can push him as well. Push? No, let's talk to him first. Hey! You there, hippie! Oh, we have choices of dialogue as well. Okay. Uh, what was I saying earlier? I kind of forgot. Oh, this is not a, a cooperative game. It's a single-player game. You just have to swap between the characters. It would be kind of cool if you could play cooperatively, but uh, I don't think at the moment... That is not the intention. Right, so... Let's see. You look a bit uh, cluttered for a platformer. Thanks for the constructive feedback, but I'm actually an indie developer. Okay. My non bilary state is Tarquin. I am the highest form of artistic creative... Creative imaginable. And you are? Uh, ben. I'm from Point and Clicks. Oh, charming. I remember those from back in the olden days, like my father used to play. Uh huh. Uh, what's a dev doing out here in the front lines? Great question. I'm doing research for my next game. Apparently, there's a thematically potent flower around here somewhere. They say it has the power to cure cancer. I'm going to use it as an inspiration for my next interactive narrative experience. No chess, Buster. We want that flower. Sounds like a worthy quest. And Dan's all about that worthy shit now. A rival project, huh? Well, I certainly welcome healthy competition. Good luck getting over these impassable spikes, though. Uh, what's... okay. Oh, it doesn't... I thought he was going to help us get across this, but I guess not. What's your game about? It's a dissection of loss due to cancer. It has an engaging perspective mechanic, where objects can change size depending on Z-axis value. And it's going to star me as the protagonist. <laughs> That's a bit narcissistic, don't you think? Interesting op opinion, but I like to think autobiographical biographical games are super innovative. Uh, okay, why do you talk so weird? I'm worried you might write a negative Steam review. 
Okay. So, are you going to get moving or what? I can't see through your massive beards. Well, full disclosure, I'm struggling to get over this pit of spikes. I'm developing a walking simulator, not a jumping simulator. Uh, get back to work, you lazy day. <laughs> Okie dokie, have a productive day. Alright, fair enough. So he doesn't really help us traverse this... Uh, can I push this guy? Into... Where can I push him? Into here? Wait. Uh, skip dial dialogue line. Can't really do that. Uh, let's try and push him. Come on, come on. Stop posing and get a move on. Other people want to use this course. Just pushes him into the fucking... Yeah. Nice. Just created a little platform there. Alright, let me uh, swap over to Dan, because this guy, he can jump. Oh, God. A leg just fell out. Is it a leg? No matter. Just like James Bond in that bit of with those crocodiles. Platforming is the coolest. I kind of like the whole representation of genre of games. So Dan is the platformer guy, obviously, and uh, Ben there is the point and click guy. That's kind of cool. They, uh, they know... The game is self-aware of uh, crossing genres. Pressure pads. This is the gentleman's way to get things done. See how effortless it is to make things happen. Just stand in the right place and wait. Uh-huh. I'll stick to jabbing at things with my fingers, ta. <laughs> Alright, so... Could... I'm not walking off the edge of the edge of this ledge. I'm an adventurer. I'm not accustomed to gravity. Okay, so... Here we go. Man, we're gonna have to uh, shepherd... Yeah, there are too many objects in front of me. This never happened to me before platforming got involved. But I have a big think and decide which one to interact with first. Okay. So, I'm not sure how can we choose... Oh, because there's... Oh, uh, there's multiple items we can interact here with. That would be... How can I change the... The item I'm interacting with? Tarquin's corpse or... The bubble pipe? It was a pipe, it wasn't... Okay, let's... Uh, examine from afar. Press... How do I do that? Like this, or... There's a power source? The power source. Hmm, I'd be able to access it if I had something to stand on. Then I could use my inventory items on it. Okay, fair enough. And then uh, we can cycle through mul multiple objects. Sorry, my bad. So right, right bumper, it says to cycle through multiple objects, but I just switch between characters, so I'm not sure how that works out. Um, Oh, sorry, right, I was pressing... Okay, never mind. Pressing left button like an idiot. Uh, so right button... It changes between them. Alright, so let's... Can I talk to him? I doubt it, but... You're right, mate! <laughs> whoops a daisy Alright, guess not. Investigate. See, this is what happens when you get into extreme sports like uh, indie development. <laughs> nice boots, though. They're huge, but with a little tweak, they'd fit Dan. Okay, so can I take those? Yeah, pick up boots. All right. Three minutes in, and you're stealing shoes off a dead man. Some things don't change, do they? Hmm. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to cure cancer here. Okay. Hmm, there's also a bubble pipe here. Which I should also grave rob. Nice. Let's pick it up then. I love that, thank you. Uh, okay, cool. So now... Uh, this is my inventory. Size 13 boots. Uh, no laces as they were stolen from a dead hipster. And we have for those winly, unwilling to breathe in tar, but happy to look utterly stupid. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, how do I get up there now? Dan? Yeah. Ooh, there's a big button here. Alright. That uh, probably is no good to me. Uh, can I stand on those boots? Can I use them? Combine? 
with a pipe? No, okay, that doesn't come by. Um, can I wear them? I can't wear these. They're platform shoes. The mother idiot will have to put them on. Alright, fair enough. Uh, so let's go around the map here with uh, Dan. How is it we can hear each other over any distance now? It's the light telepathic bond we picked up during the Warlock Topus Stone Age invasion incident, remember? Oh yeah, where each archway led to a different planes of magic. Man, there was a lot of vague mystical wiffle waffle on that adventure. Oh shit, I just killed myself. Fuck. I was trying to read at the same time as doing these fucking platform things. Alright. Let's go up again. So this was the the wiffle waffle the game was talking about when I was trying to change the... Uh... Alright, so obviously I can't go through there. Can I just... Fall down here? Yeah. Balloon. Oh, I just popped this little guy, that was... Hmm, that crate looks movable. Alright, shall I just push it? Yes! Pushing crates! There's little in life as exhilarating as pushing a big lovely crate. Alright, so this will... potentially help... Ah, uh... oh, come on! Well, what does this do? Alright, so I... Fuck! Alright, so I don't think I can pass through here. Maybe I can just push it. Enough so I can pick it up from the other side, I think. Potentially. What does this do? Oh, there's a timer on it. Piddle sticks. That jump is way too high for my current platformer skill levels. My boring simple jump skills aren't going to cut it here. I'm going to need some sort of double jump upgrade in order to progress. Oh, the classic double jump. Uh, this dense area of jungle is metaphorically rich. But physically impassable. Right, let me go... What is this over here? Secret area? Possibly? Not sure. Uh... Your nose is a different color to the rest of your uh, face. Oh yeah, it's really disconcerting. <laughs> yeah, it's quirky and alternative. Noses that are a different color from the rest of your face. Ah, there we go. Are so in right now. Even though it makes no sense. Well, your nose looks like it's from a different game entirely. Uh, all right, I need to, I need to place this guy over here, and then I can just move him around in the platform. Yeah, so this is going to take some time get, getting used to it, all this uh, mechanics. Alright, so let's switch to that. So can I, now can I use it? Use inventory. And uh, what do I do with it? Shall I just put the pipe in there? Use on... I can't use that on this power thing. Alright, why not? Uh, can I look at it? power source for that force field yonder. Okay, yeah. None of this even makes sense, you know. Why are these... Why are there all these platforms and buttons and stuff in the jungle? It's surrealist. It's splash dash is what it is. I don't like it. Let's just agree to ignore any technology from here on out. It's ruining the vibe. <laughs> the jungle fever vibe. So what can I use? Uh... Wait. Hold on, let me swap. Can I give the boots to Dan now, or... Right. Dan. Uh, use inventory. Give you the boots. Use on Dan. Well, they're certainly not too small for Dan's delicate wee feet. But there's nothing special about these boots to warrant him wearing them. I'm fastidious these days about only wearing items of clothing. That enhance my abilities somehow. Hence this ultra light sight lycra, lycra jumpsuit I'm wearing, which makes my jog a fraction of a percentage faster. <laughs> it all adds up. We platformers really have to be at the top of our game. Indeed. Alright, so I can't give him the boots. Uh, do I have anything? Uh, can I use my bladder here? Just pee on it? 
I only piss in two places, toilets and graves. <laughs> okay. Dan is neither. Good of you to notice. Although sometimes I swear too much. So much, people say I have a mouth of like a toilet. Hmm. That passes the test, actually. Buckle up, baby. Uh, just joshing. That has definitely never been said about me. Alright, I'm gonna remove Dan from here because I uh, accidentally interacted with him. So let's use this on the... I feel like someone told me once that pissing on electrical equipment is a bad idea. Can't remember why exactly. But I'm not going to risk it regardless. Alright, fair enough. Uh, uh, what does this do? No. So, how am I going to disable this power source? That is the question. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take this box all the way to the corner, so I can have Dan go through. Okay. Can I interact with it? I told you it finds walking easier once you took your handy on a stick out. Thank you on a stick. Out of your pockets. It was jovial. Alright, can I... I'm not just gonna die if I touch it, do I? Yeah, I do. Alright. Hmm, I appear on this side, but Dan won't. Or Ben. He won't, because... Um, he hasn't touched the checkpoint yet. Alright, so there's gotta be a way I can... There's gotta be a way... I can shut off the, that equipment. Maybe the boots. Why not? Because they, they have rubber on the soles, so they like... Maybe they insulate? This is what I'm thinking, but I'm not sure. I don't have any other items, and I can't see any other way of... Wait, can I just... Yeah, I can use it from here. Okay. But let's try to use the boots on it. Ah, here we go. I gave it some welly. Leaking battery. Can I just pick it up? I can't just pick that up. I'll get electrocuted. I could give it a sturdy whack with something non-conductive. Yeah, like my uh, boots. Let's give it another whack. I'll give it some more welly. Hey, no recycling jokes. Oh. Okay, no recycling jokes until the next level, at least. Yay! Right, give it a good welly. And the electricity is out. Sweet. Let's get Dan up on the platform here again. Let me uh, move. Let's pick this up. Battery is leaking a particular, particularly volatile acid. Good job my fingers can't feel pain, or this might be jolly sore. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Let's go traverse. Can I walk any faster? Actually, no. All right. Sweet. We both now cross the checkpoints, and we should be good to go. I don't remember what this... Shit, just killed... Just killed my mate, Ben. Uh, Alright, I can examine from afar. Let's see if I have anything I can use. Oh, I can use... Can I use the acids? On the creepy vines? Can I pull them, actually? These are thick Peruvian vines. They're far too strong. Maybe I can weaken them somehow? Alright, let's use the battery acids on them, then. Use. There we go. Aha! Success! This acidy battery is going to come in pretty useful, I can tell. Uh-oh. There's some sort of jumping beast monster in there. Dan! Use your platformer skills and jump on this damn thing, will you? Alright. I'ma jump on it. Damn beast! Nice. Uh, so now... How do I... What? What happens now? I mean, uh, we traverse the Peruvian vines? Ah, oh, trumpet bottom creature. Let's look at it. Looks like the jumping trumpet bit still works. It's just his head that has popped. Leaving the creature itself alive, but in horrific agony. Oh god, now I feel bad. <laughs> but the important point is, the jumping mechan mechanism definitely still works. Uh, can I pick this up? Aha! A fine addition to my inventory. 
A deflated jumping beast with long thin arms like shoelaces. Haha! So now could I possibly combine the boots and the deflated body of the th Oh, wait! What? The flattened remains of the baddie Jan Jan Dan jumped on. There's not much left except some flailing limbs. And a trumpet-like sphincter that's still giving out jumpy farts. <laughs> okay. Can I not say- honestly, can I not combine them? I thought I could. Uh, maybe I have to somehow- no, that's not it. First rule of uh, point and clinks adventure games is to try and combine everything with everything. Right, so I'm not sure... There's a fire here. No, not really. Alright, so my vision th here only goes so high. Too high jump. That jump is way too high for Dan. Maybe if you make me some double jump boots. I can get up there. Right. But, I mean, that would require boots for a start. Oh. Which I have. Yeah, I do, but... Uh... Uh, I thought combining them. I thought this would be it. Just combine them. Why can't I combine? Um, his boots are huge. Uh, size 13, if I'm not mistaken. No laces, though. Bloody hipsters. Uh, yeah. Mm. Right, I'm, uh, I'm stumped, actually, because I, I thought... That would be it. Maybe I need more of those. Oh, okay, hold up. Maybe I need more. Because there was another... Fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, that mechanic's a bit broken, like jumping on top of him. Right, there's another guy here, so I probably need to collect these as well. Yet another sentient creature murdered by Dan in his humanitarian quest. That's two jumping creatures, which, oddly enough, is the same number of Dan... of feet Dan has. Are you telling them about how many feet I have? Yes! Is it still two? Yep, still two. <laughs> okay, so now probably we can combine them. Alright, let's try this now. There we go! Hurrah! A massive triumph. I have successfully created a... Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? What? I'm combining objects in my inventory, just like I always do. Ugh. Look. If you're going to insist on sticking to old, boring 1995 ways of doing everything, at least call it crafting from now on. It's what all the kids are calling it now. Do you want the bloody things or not? <laughs> Alright, then have a look at this. Some double jump boots? Uh, use on him. Here you go, I combined you up some double jump boots. Oh look Ben, what a lovely handy new item you've crafted here. Fine. I have crafted some double jump boots for you. Here. Sweet! I mean, jumping is ridiculous enough as it as is, but these boots will bestow a second preposterous mid-jump. So, mid-jump jump so you can reach higher heights than ever before. Uh-huh. And you do that with every time you put on your, your shoes, do you? Okay. Sweet, looks like we are ready for that double jump. Nice. Preposterous mid-jump jump. <laughs> that allows Dan to traverse even the highest of platforms. Oh, that was a bit shit. Right, let's try that again. Perfect. Looks like we managed to reach here, but now we have to... Alright. Cool, just let's carry on. And this... Yeah, raises the platform right there so I can get Ben over here as well. Cool. As you can see now, I can't really... Uh, I can't really take Ben over to the left side to that checkpoint. So there will be checkpoints only uh, um, some of us can reach, which would be 
Man, that mechanic is a bit broken. I have to fix that. What is this foam coming out of the mouth? So we got gotta keep that in mind where the checkpoints are for each character as well. And we just like because like see now if I died with Ben I would be way out there. And I would be all right. How do I do this then? Uh, let's look at it. Gas leak. It's some sort of totem pole. If I want to get close enough to investigate it, I'll need some sort of periscope to breathe through. So the gas doesn't get me. Oh, you mean like a pipe? Something? Uh, wait. Yeah. Uh, which one am I not playing with? Okay, I'm Ben. Uh, can I use the pipe then? Where? There we go. Now I'm sure I can traverse it. Nice. Alright. Look at this. Cooperation. Let's use the lever, shall we? Use. And that hopefully... Uh, no, that doesn't... Wait, what? I thought that would get rid of the gas leak. But it does not. Maybe... Can I stand here? Can I use the switch? I'm too weak and noodly. A noodly. To activate this, it requires someone sturdier like Dan. Oh, okay. Alright. So... Can I give the pipe to Dan? Is that... What? Remove and use on Dan. You smoke? Bubbles? No. I'm not a little boy or a hipster. God damn it. I can't really... Can I not use it with him? Use on Dan. No, he doesn't do it. All right, uh, how are we going to do this then? I can't, can't really uh, dumple jump all the way out there. Where is this? Am I wearing it? Wear it. There we go. Uh, but this lever here. Oh wait. I. Uh, it. Def. What? What? The fuck? It's off now. As the guy disappears, it should be safe. Okay, alright. I didn't realize <laughs> what the fuck was the dialogue before. Alright, sweet. So we're gonna have done on this, and now we can press the lever as well. Or pull the lever. Perfect. Sweet! We made it across. Oh, look at this. There's a plane over there. 